Just smile and nod. Uh, right. So, yeah, everybody go ahead and draw four cards. Try not to murder anybody for a few minutes. Yeah. Get that. Oh. No problem. Take that. Close down my Facebook. So, uh, yeah, if you need to send me a message, use Whisper on Roll20 because I don't have Facebook open during the game unless I'm looking for additional sharks or something. I, I have no ads. I don't know how to deal with this computer. That's <laughs> <laughs> a spirit, Yana. It's a normal computer. What are you talking about? I know, I but. The Mac. I have a Mac, but, but this yeah. one. <laughs> but uh, just the, the, uh, the windows are doing weird things. It's okay. That's what you think when using a Mac, Yana. Yeah. I've got to play immediately. Effects of a dissolute lifestyle, so I don't need to worry mm. about it. Yeah, I'm dodged a fucking bullet there. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, lock pick or lock more. That's one of the new cards. There are several new cards for anybody that's like, oh, but no, <laughs> when what? Like, I have both special day and happy holidays. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So nice. Nobody else has any reds? Nope. No. Cool. Then go ahead and play them, repeat. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not the happy birthday. So it's only the one hero point, but still. Oh, it's still. Yeah. yeah. So there's the. Let's just put happy holidays there. Oops, get over there. And there's the special day on. No, you should have seen the board yeah. yesterday, Freddie. It was just fucking jammed of cards all over the place. It looked like a little kid tried to shuffle uh, cards. <laughs> just amazing. Uh, anyway. Right. You guys are all sitting around dressed like uh, gunfighters of the Old West. Everybody has a uh, derby hat on and... Uh, you're kind of dressed as like the fancy back east gunfighters and stuff. Uh, everybody has a hog leg with the big fucking revolver pistol that never ever try to reload and shit and holds five bullets. Uh, strapped to your leg and you're sitting around in the Australian embassy. Uh, drinking and stuff. And you're not sure why you're all dressed like gunfighters, but you are. All of your shit is nearby in knapsacks and stuff like that. I go grab my shit. I go to it. Anything new in there or still all there? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I'm just checking. I made Why? it goofy, but I don't know about it. Why are we dressed like this? No what idea, why? Uh, Mildred. Mm. What do you mean, why? We're in the Fucking old what? What yeah, this? yeah, but we normally not, not normally dressed this way. We're normally dressed a bit more. Oh, you know, the universe is out of order. Blah blah blah. <laughs> 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 what, what, have have you, what have you done? Like Logan's campaign. Blah, blah, blah. What, what have What have you done this time? Mm. Nothing. Just things are going. Things are going I, I, up as usual. I have a sniff to see if I can smell this. Anything that's been like burnt wood recently. <laughs> burnt uh, give me recently. a smell roll. Also, while you're looking around for anything that was on fire or will be on fire, you uh, find a, a note uh, that's in the neat calligraphy and shit. Because in the old West days, they used to spend more time making notes and on the right paper mm -hmm. and all that. And it, it says Joshua in the nice calligraphy, you know, like all fancy and shit and it's folded in half not in quarters because that would be vulgar but in half because then it's discreet yet elegant is it on a silver tray it is <laughs> it's sitting at your right hand side on a small table with an easy reach next to the good bourbon and uh cigars lovely i shall pick up the note and peruse it i uh, it's it's uh from darius and it simply says have thought of something interesting. Please see me uh, soonest D. Okay. You can tell from Darius, even though he signed a D because he wrote from Darius. He's not great at this Old West note thing. Uh, Mildred, 
Yeah. What? You see Freddie that... playing with a lighter. He looks around. Just <laughs> I, I swag, swag it out of his hand. How'd that get there? Um, right, Freddie, give me a luck roll at half real quick or something. Ooh. It started quickly. It did. <laughs> How about by a quarter? Is that all right? Uh, that's pretty good. All right. So, yeah, it fortunately goes out before the lighter itself goes underneath the large flammable curtain. <laughs> all right, Morgan, listen up. The universe is going to up. We need to find the unicorn's eye in order to create a lot of it. Burlington's running underwater. A water mage closed the gate in Burlington, so that's why it's underwater. The clock in Burlington is some weird, misty bullshit. Um, Cyberpunk is going to war. China invaded Hong Kong, <laughs> and the Tri Kingdoms are going at war. All right, there you are. Well, strictly speaking, China didn't invade Hong Kong since China owns Hong Kong. Right. <laughs> That's an important part of it. Just, just, a, just a slight distinction there. They right. didn't actually invade Hong Kong. They just sent troops in to deal with the unrest. <laughs> it, it, it does make a big difference. It's like saying um, the US invaded Chicago. Yes. I, I would like to point out, by the way, they. I have no contacts in Hong Kong nor in China. <laughs> I wrote that adventure before it all built up, even though it seems to be playing out as I'm doing it, which makes me begin to wonder, am I in control of Hong Kong? I don't <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Doubtful, but yes. Oh, um, before we go and do whatever we want to do, uh, could I of you have a look at these notes I found we tried to read them, something about aliens, but couldn't really get much out of them. I Where? showed them the notes that we found. Okay. Um, Where did you find them? That's a good question. I have not remember. They were on the dead person in Blackbriar in tracking. Ooh. Them. I you may have read that post on the forum. Oh, in the, the tri story. in the tri kingdoms? Yes. Um I took all the notes, so I just kind of handed, put it on the table. I showed them the note that we know for certain that it's a secret message to the Blood Kingdom saying that they want to join forces with, they want the Iron Republic wants to join forces with the Blood Kingdom to take down Commonwealth of Zamora, but I'm not sure what all these other alien Babble is about. Maybe one of you can decipher it. I'm not sure what the other alien. Oh, that alien battle. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, it is um, in Hatties, by the way. It is Hatties? Yeah. All right. I shall attempt to read it. Hmm. No. What, what's the language? Hatties. You oh. know, Jabba the Hut. Oh, right. The Bulldog. I found she, she translates it as a. Uh, uh, shopping list. Mm. Yeah, I got they need, they go down. Bacon. They need more milk. Uh -huh. Go down to the corner store and buy me a packet of fags. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, it's worth a try. Sorry, no. Um, I'm, and in regards to, oh, did you translate what? New Sun's sister's name means? No. Zim Kai doesn't know what it means. Do you want to go find her and talk to her? Well, I've got a note from Darius saying he's thought of something, so it might be worth check, tracking down Darius okay. to speak to him. Um, my Mandarin is very limited. Mm. Mildred, how about you? How's your Mandarin? Um, wait a minute. Uh... My Mandarin. <laughs> Welcome to Unusual Skill Day. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to not playing for a lot of months. I mean, we can always find the translator. Can you just imagine if somebody like Robert Hudson, him trying to get back in, going, oh, I don't know yeah. what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, well, uh, Russ, Russ joined. Sorry, go. I'm a, like a hobbyist in Mandarin, so I can try. Oh, really? Oh, okay. In Mandarin, wow. Yeah. 
I don't know how it happened, but yeah. <laughs> uh, was Mandarin the language at the Shadow Academy? Maybe. In the um, spell casting, and we kept getting sent to remedial Mandarin. Oh, a real called missing footage. <laughs> that sounds, yeah. That sound familiar? Yeah, I think that's yeah, where yeah. that's yeah, where fine. you may have learnt Mandarin. Yeah. Um, and some of the others as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, we've got a note from Darius. There's the chick. There's New Son's brother. Um, sister. Sister, sorry. Uh, um, there's the whole thing of Noel Afetep, aka the Black Pharaoh, uh, aka the question. Bloody Tongue. Can I? Et oh, you know that. All right, cool. I don't need to tell you that. What? Uh, what? The Bloody, the bloody Tongue. <laughs> <laughs> the they just babble back and forth. They just <laughs> Go ahead, um, the bloody tongue. I, I met him. It. What? Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? Yes, we did. <laughs> I think you were, were you, yes, you were there with us. Ah, uh, unfortunately I was. Oh, was it you? Yeah, it was you that time. It was me, you and Kenley. Yes, that's right. Yes, so yes, so yes, you were there when we met the bloody tongue. Yes, mm -hmm. um, and I have read um, case notes of others meeting him in other forms. Oh. Uh, so... The outer god known as Naralafatep, Mildred. What? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if you've really that familiar with the Cthulhu mythos. You know, you got Yog Sothoth and Cthulhu. And, like I know the red guys, but this one I don't yeah. know. Naralafatep is one of the, he's sort of some people consider him their messenger, but he's I think okay. he's a bit more than that. Oh. Um, okay. Um, How is the name and, again? N Y A R L A T H O T E P off the top of my head. That sounds complicated. <laughs> just one left. Just one left. Oh, gnarly. Okay. Um, gnarly but he, he's um he has yeah. a, he has over a thousand forms or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um and depending on the part of the world depends on how he's what he's known as. Like in Africa, there's a cult of the bloated woman. I think it's called mm -hmm. off the top of my head. Um, there's the cult of the bloody tongue, which yeah, is one, one of the forms that Freddy and the Aeolus and I had encountered. Um, I've read some case notes where he was, um, he sometimes masquerades as a human. Okay. Um, he was the, in the world I came from, uh, there was massive earthquakes in San Diego, mm. um, which basically caused the whole area to go almost post-apocalyptic. And he was there as a Mr. North. Okay. I think it was Atali P. North or something like that off the top of my head, which is basically an anagram for Noel Afetep. Um, he's, yeah, he's appeared. He sometimes, he's he seems to be interested in humans, but um, he has got some bad forms and he's got forms which people don't lose all that, lose their mind completely by seeing him. Uh -huh. okay. uh, at one stage, there was things about him being the Black Pharaoh, as in ruling Egypt. Oh, um, for a period of time. He's he he's like a busy guy. Very busy guy. As I said, he's the most he's the most um, easy to. Well, some of his forms are closer to human than pretty much any of the other any of the other nasty mm. goos. Okay. Great old ones, elder gods. So, do you think that he? Do you think that Mister Young is an avatar of his, or if he's been reincarnated as Mister Young, basically? Like, um, I'm not sure. I know, as I said, the New World or New World Industries. Um, I think they have links back to a cult by the name of. Uh, the Brotherhood of the Beast, whose primary purpose was to try and bring back Noel, um, the Black Pharaoh, one of the forms of the Noel Afetep. But mm. they evolved into New World or New World Industries. And in my previous job, we there was our agency had encounters with several subsidiaries of 
the um, that company. For example, there was a subsidiary that was experimenting with Shabnigarev's milk. So quite disturbing, but yes. I don't really want to ask about that one, but okay. No, no, you don't. <laughs> anyway, um, but yes, New World Industries, if they're anything like the one from my world. Well, we know that. Potentially is, our world, as we may have yeah. all came from the same shadow place. We've not we yet know associated that. with them. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they seem to be very interested in bringing him back. I don't know if that's there, if there's some sort of cult worshipping him, potentially. Well, the symbols that we saw on the guards' uniforms was the cult of the bloody tongue. Okay. That symbol. They were wearing that, so. Okay. Yep, yep. All right. Um, and his mm. sister seems, you're saying something to do with the eye. She seems to be involved. Well, the building it was in the convent was called the eye. Oh, really? Yeah. And did they have the eye of the unicorn there? No, but there was a picture of an eye. Oh, the okay. eye of the unicorn, by the way, is in the forest of Amber, outside of Amber. Okay, so it's got nothing to do with the Tower of Eyes? Nope, I found that out the hard way. You went to the Tower yeah. of Eyes? Uh huh. Go a bit, Freddy. I Sorry? Freddie's scratching his ears when he's saying that. Not just one ear either, both ears, and you're not sure why. <laughs> so yeah, we went, went, we went, we went there. Yeah, uh, I was. So you know the dude that was in the robe with the coats. Yep. He yep. wasn't there. This time I was the dude in the robe with the coats, whispering in my ears. Okay. Which was an interesting experience, and they. I'm sure it was. They basically said. Um, you know, the eye is far away from here. Go find it, bring balance, blah, blah, blah. You are the destined one, etc., etc. And Doc, with a bit of help from Doc, we deduced that the unicorn and subsequently the unicorn's eye is in the forest of Amber. And I need to go and literally gouge out its eye if I'm so the, to do this. So the eye has not been removed yet. As far as what I can tell, no. I have to remove it. Okay. Or someone has to remove it. <laughs> Lovely. It can't get any fucking words. <laughs> no, I, I, yes, I'm trying to work out in my head how and if that's going to happen. I mean, we just go there, find the unicorn, grab a knife, pop it out. Oh, no. It, 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 says, it, it sounds so simple when you say it like that. <laughs> Uh, Isn't the unicorn like that symbol or something? Oh like, yeah, that'll be mad. Um, and I besides thought... that, the in in depending on the legends and stuff, the unicorn is our great great grandmother. Oh, great, great 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 grandmother. <laughs> what did you have about mom? <laughs> what did mom well, do? If we have grandchildren, she'll forget us. But grandma, I need your eye for a sec. Hold still. <laughs> it's, it's just like the Jim Jeffries uh, uh, comedy thing he was talking about where he was like, yeah, my mother always tells me she loves me unconditionally, but if I was to take a rusty razor and cut through that obese woman's breast and just have it slide off, would she still love me? <laughs> I don't want to test that, but I'm sure her love's not as unconditional as she's thinking it is. Mm. I mean, look, um, I, I'm about 90% certain that we're being manipulated into doing this. Yeah, of course we are. So, and what? I don't like the idea of being manipulated. I mean, when the the whole situation previously with the creation, with how things ramped up, uh -huh. trying to force us to create the um, pattern. Mil I can't remember if Mildred worked it out from a tarot card or Mildred had some yeah, Mildred insane tarot insight no, tarot that, that um, things were purposely being ramped up to try and force us to do stuff. Mildred came up with that? Ooh, yes, she hard. did. <laughs> it was just a feeling. Yeah. So, I've got it in my notes from yonks ago, but yes, Mildred actually came up with that. I think it was a session where it was Mildred, Doc, and myself. Did you draw a big surprised face next to that in your notes? 
I, I think I've, I seem to recall that Mildred, as I said, had some sort of bizarre insight into shadow law. Oh, or yeah. Something oh, like right. that. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Cool. So I don't know. What do you guys like? If we go through with this, we'll be enemies with the Elrites forever. Uh, I don't know if we want to do that. Like... No, no, not now. I'm not ready to do that now. <laughs> no one's ready to do it, but I meant but, in general. Okay, it's on the to do list for tomorrow yeah. to be an enemy to all the Elrites. So I mean, are we going to do it, but... now or what? So, um, I have more than two questions, but two questions that come to mind relating to this. Yeah. One, one is, what's the hurry? Why, why? Justice is won't leave me the fuck alone. No, 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 no. Do it now, 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 now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, that's why I'm asking. Why? Yeah. Oh, because the pattern is going too strong. It might. That no. previous. No, no. That's the thing. It, if based on, if depending on how much truth there is to it. Corwin created a, another pattern. It was years that things were out, a bit out of balance. We're not talking months. It was absolutely years, like 10, 20 years mm. before mm. things got back into balance. Oh. And there wasn't mm. such disruptions. But so Corwin for whatever or reason, Ghost, or Ghost Wheel... Sorry? Corwin or Dorkin? Corwin. Oh, okay. Yeah, I because of the whole war of the black road or whatever it's called um but the um what am i trying to say um but yes for some reason ghost wheel is really ramping things up and is trying to get things done in a hurry which is strange so the question is why mm -hmm. maybe they're losing power don't know and the second question is, is why aren't the Courts of Chaos doing anything about it? Right. Uh, I think they are indirectly through us. Because the goats... Oh, so, one of the things, um, the Tower of Eyes on the spectrum of pattern versus chaos. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was right very forward. close to chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it I may mean, have been... due to the nature of that zone yeah. is... Yeah. However, that's so still... Seem to still know know Excuse me, that still begs the question, why isn't the serpent slash logress or whatever? Well, doing I mean, something about it? if it only affects our zone, why would they care about it? Because it's assumably not just affecting... Well, I don't know, that's the question. Is it affecting everything beyond our I don't zone know. now? Uh, also, when... Um, or is it just affecting our sub-shadow? Doc, Doc attempted to contact Fiona and Mel. Oh, yes. And something wasn't right. Were you there for that? I can't remember. No, no, no. No, you weren't. So he attempted to Trump call them and was unsuccessful. There was something, like they were they were alive, but there was something interfering. Not blocking and a few or minutes, interfering with it. Yeah, and a few minutes later, he got attacked via Trump, and he got flung around the room and shit. It's like bad boy, basically. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, um, something's going on with the Amberites. So, did we actually meet somebody from Chaos? Uh, <laughs> if you count the two talking goats, yeah. <laughs> okay. I met so, them, they were interesting. So, a while ago, there was that um, undead invasion that was happening in MMO land. Mm-hmm. That uh, Doc I totally Alex... didn't call that. No, no. That's... But Doc, Doc Alex, Doc Alex Kinley and I dealt with. Mm -hmm. There were two people there that appeared to be affiliated with the Courts of Chaos, and one of them actually had a trump card to the Courts of Chaos. Ah, oh, oh. I wonder if those are the two same people that were looking for me at Maybe. Episode two, three. Um, they were, yeah, we're not sure if they were Doras. One of them, one of them had ginger hair from memory. Hmm. How did you know they were from the Courts of Chaos? Well, as I said, one of them had a trump to Courts of Chaos. And How did you I, see it? It's quite a while ago. I'd have to recheck okay. mine. How, how did we see it? Oh, because I took it out of the cold, dead hand. 
is how I saw it <laughs> after we basically glassed the place. Does it still have that? Or did it lose uh, it when it No, I went bye byes with the rest of my Trumps. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. no, Including a Trump that I had to the the Shadow Earth that Random had given me. Oh, yep. that's a shame. Yes. Uh, so. All right. I, I think like, thing whether or not I can get them back from various means, but does not appear to be any way. I don't know. I feel like another copy. Ghost Wheel might be associated somehow with the Courts of Chaos. Well, Ghost yeah, Wheel, Ghost Wheel is sort of like a a creation of Merlin. Yeah. And it was some sort of organic slash inorganic computer, which contained aspects of both the pattern and the logarus. Mm -hmm and potentially was considered another greater power as mm. such capital g capital p yeah you know because we wanted something from us it would have been a lot easier just to say hey i need you to go make a lot of us then we would have been like all right cool no we wouldn't we would be thinking why does he want this and well it would have been a lot better than all this cryptic bullshit well yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we, we we have said that before. We've even tried to talk to Ghost Wheel when we we're inside Ghost Wheel to say, "Hey, you know, why don't you talk to us about some of this shit?" Mm. Mm. Yeah, right, so anyway, often, um... you know, ca carrot works better than stick most of the time, and especially if you communicate with us, things might actually get done. Is there anything else you want to ask before we? No, no. Not to As I said, got a message from Darius. Go talk to him. Um, there's okay. New Sun's sister. What about you, Mildred? Have you got any questions? <laughs> have you got any questions? Yeah. Um, I'm sure you got lots of questions. But, you know, have you got questions, anything yeah. anything particular you you um, still want to know about? Uh, not really. I guess I will just like hop around, hop after you, and uh, see what happens. Just as okay. she says that, Freddie goes, okay, and falls off the chair and begins to spam them. Interesting. <laughs> you're you're the, do? I believe you're the medical person, the closest we got to a medical person, really? Mildred. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't, don't you, aren't you a doctor, strictly speaking? I'm a psychologist. Yeah, okay, you don't have medicine? I, I'm chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have any medicine or first aid. Wait, wait, yeah, I just want this. You can't. Yeah, trade is your oh, trade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, hang on a second. Before we go any further, I have three play immediately. Not one, oh, not two, oh. three <laughs> play immediately. Okay, cool. what are they? Uh, first one is Hollow Victory. The Don't second one is another effects of a desolate lifestyle. So oh. you, you have dodged a bullet twice. Nice. And the third one is Feeling Paranoid. So actually, they're not too bad. So feeling paranoid is about the whole thing about negative favors. I'm not sure why you even leave that in there anymore, Logan. That way, in case anybody's really, really hating the PCs in particular, I okay. can find more evil shit for them. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I need to discard down. Yes, but it's if you have negative favors with any PC, one of them, GM's choice will do something bad to you. Ask the GM to fit it in when they have time. Mm -hmm. I have uh, as I said, uh, effects of a desolate lifestyle, so don't have to worry about that. And the third one is Hollow Victory. Discard all Victory cards immediately. What were you starting to say, Yana? That I, I'm good at first aid, actually. Go for it. Um, <laughs> I go to Freddy, I think about like doing something awful, but then try to do something nice. <laughs> all right. And I do it. You're pretty much working on keeping him from swallowing his tongue and stuff. It's kind of like an epileptic seizure is what he's going through. Meanwhile, Freddie, you're back in the HR department, sitting across uh, from the lady, looking at this screen here. Oops, hold on a second. And for some reason, there's still a clarity left on this other screen. I don't get it. There we go. Um, 
looking at that screen there, mm -hmm. and the voice is saying, reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Now, answer as quickly as you can. If you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? Octopus. What do you think of garden gnomes? I hate them. If you were shipwrecked on an island and had plenty of food and water, what two items would you take? Computer and video games. How would you commit regicide on King Random? What the hell is regicide? Oh, uh, interesting. What is your favorite shape to become? Triangle. You're in a desert walking along the sand, and all of a sudden you look down and you see a tortoise. It's crawling toward you. You reach down and flip the tortoise on its back. The tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun, moving its legs and trying to put itself open. But it can't, not without your help. You're not helping or killing King Random. Why is that? I'm working on it, you fucking idiot. And that's when he wakes up. Uh, he wakes up saying, I'm working on it, you fucking idiot. <laughs> You see Mildred right over you, and give me a small Sandy roll versus a care, Freddy, because that will call a Sandy roll. Like, oh, God, um, my eyes, no. And for the viewers at home, the picture that Logan put up, for those who can't see it, is of the Voight Kompf machine. Mm -hmm. How much is it, Logan? One if you miss. But it's the it's the image from the person who's doing the test, not the person taking the test. Yes, but in this case, that's all he was seeing was that eye thing. Yeah, yeah. Freddy, also the one Sandy point loss goes toward uh, the fear of death. Mildred <laughs> over you when you're helpless. This is something. That <laughs> no doubt. What did you see? Um. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I, is it near death experiences or dying death uh, itself? Okay. Uh, oh, fear of death itself? There is no fear of death. Don't make me look it up. Mm. There's near death experiences and dying death. Dying slash death. Which is if we die, from if we die or oh. close to dying. Oh, and I will go look it up. Now, where did I hide the character sheet for myself? Put it toward one of those. There you go. Not willing to look shit up during it. Yes. So later we can move it if we really have to. So you wake up, do your jump scare. There was zero Sandy from what you saw, but one Sandy from what you saw after you were done with the vision. <laughs> Life is just unfair, you think. Uh. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Having her sitting above you whispering that to you while you're laying on the ground is not fucking helping. I'll give her a massive hug. No joke, <laughs> save me. Uh, <laughs> save me. What's happening? Just your help. Just your help. <laughs> I'll go over and slow and um, carefully peel. Aeolus off Mildred. It's okay, Aeolus. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if Aeolus wanted to resist, I think he's a lot stronger than me now. So. No, I'm not going to resist. All right. No problem. You, you get put back in your chair. What was that about? And Justice I don't need to. <laughs> Justice is raping my dream. Justice? Yeah. Just, my... Justice. Justice Swift. Swift yeah. I blah what I dreamt. Grando hmm. is there. So, so why did you turn the tortoise over onto its back? <laughs> did you want to hug too? <laughs> Let's move on to something else. Tell us about your mother. <laughs> <laughs> so Rando is dead? I no, he's not. I don't know if he's dead or not. I've never been, I've, I've not been to Amber yet. Well, there, there's some speculation that the random we have met is not the real random. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, Pete, since he blood you, please define regicide. Regicide is killing the king, basically, or killing the queen. Oh, fair enough. As in the regency. Oh, the word for the day is regicide. 
<laughs> Tomorrow, patricide. <laughs> so, right. Meanwhile, what do you guys want to do? I am discarding rocket launcher plus 20. All right, let's go find Darius. All right. No problem. You guys get up, gather whatever possessions of yours you're wanting to mm -hmm. lug around with you. I'm guessing everybody's got a large backpack full of bullshit. Yep. Food, water, tents, sleeping bags, wow. condoms, yeah. whatever. Condoms, no. yeah. No. Last time I was in a hotel room in Las Vegas. Well, I don't know what kind of – this is your normal traveling gear, whatever you're wanting to take with you. No, my normal traveling gear is just a leather satchel with some stuff ah. in it. Well, you have a reasonable amount of shit. Freddie's going for casting in the next Monty Python and the Holy Grail as uh, the <laughs> Patsy. Uh, how much shit does Mildred carry around? Not much, just some random stuff in a little bag. Okay, so, yeah, Freddie's thinking, I'm the only one who's ready for the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, I'm going to pick up the light, by the way. Light. All right. <laughs> they keep an eye on you while you do that. Never know when this, when this might be handy. He says, showing you the lighter. On the lighter itself. Oops. Is a small strange symbol. There you go. I'm just doing by now. Okay. Put it away. Isn't that the evil symbol? No, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Not so much Fuck. evil. Fuck all those GMs that don't do enough foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> My PC uh. club like baby steals with foreshadowing. <laughs> when did we go to... You guys go see Darius. He is uh, currently uh, helping supervise a bunch of stuff. Uh, the hallways are still just crowded with people who are pretty much sleeping in the hallways. It's the, they have very long bedrooms here, although the hallways have a little bit less people as they're starting to build more barracks and stuff like that. You'll be able to, at some point, house an army of extraordinary magnitude for oh. the tradition of your ancestors. They will um, have magnitude. Uh, as well, I, I'm about to leave, basically. I said to... Joshua, uh, do you want to do anything about the gems as well while we're here? Um, not quite yet. Okay. But yeah, I don't, I don't know how to cut gems. We could take some. Well, I mean, to do you want to look at what they did with them at least? Or? What you did with them? What did you do what, with them? What, well, we gave one back to a miner, and I don't know what he did with them afterwards. Did Where he did you give cut them? A... To one of you the miners that a Jeweler or no. a miner? A miner. Uh, I, I, like thought a little was, kid? I thought it was to the elf guy. You gave him one. That's yeah, yeah. we gave it to the elf guy, but the miner was helping him do all the gem stuff. With it. As in someone, as in like a geologist, maybe? No, one of the elite miners that helped okay, us. Okay, did he have some sort of geology skill or something? Yes. Oh, oh that was Hornsby that was with him. Hornsby. He's adorable. Oh. I was going to say, Hornsby's one of the MMO land people, isn't he? Yep. Okay. By the way, I got an auspicious omen. Oh, no. dun, dun, dun. So that's all magic points go down to two, or is that it's, which card? Uh, discard all of your cards and draw one card. Everybody? Uh, everyone or just you? Just me, I think. Discard all of your cards. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, but yeah, I don't know if you want to go look into how they're getting along with that, because it was supposed to fund the embassy. But, yeah, oh, we'll, okay. we'll speak to Dom. We'll speak to um, what's his name first? Yeah, Darius speak to Darius first. first. Yeah, and then go see how things are going. Okay. You guys go out and find a. Uh dignified looking black guy with uh dreadlocks graying uh temples and uh some gray in his beard 
He's hanging out watching people uh, working and stuff like that and helping direct them. It looks like all these people are really busy doing all kinds of shit here. Uh, like the, the grounds will need to be expanded again, but um, so obviously. How much of the town do we own now? Uh, well, the town itself is growing and the embassy is growing right along with it. So do we own pretty much like a quarter of it or something? Like is it uh, almost like a no, well, you'd, like you'd a over, area? Uh, you'd taken over like four different large home plots before in the wealthy district. Um, yeah, that, that was early days though. But every time you describe it, it sounds like we've gone larger and like we own oh, like yeah. city blocks worth now. Oh yeah, well, you know, you might have you're you're going to be working on your first big city block. But the city itself is getting really large because it's a very popular city, very safe, and it has a lot of fresh water for some reason. So, mm. um, right, Darius goes, ah, Joshua extends a right. hand. Good to see you. You too. Hi. Hello, he says. And he nods to Freddie and he goes, Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> you can just see the different levels. <laughs> He says, uh, it's a minor thing uh, that mm -hmm. I, I thought of, but I thought it was worth uh, leaving a note because I can never tell when you'll be around. Certainly. Far away. Well, not too long ago. We had a workman killed here. It was very tragic and accidental and such. A, a bucket full of tools fell on his head and killed him almost instantly. But he was here. here. Sorry. And that got me thinking. He was... Is one of our guys, yes. He respawned here. I yeah. respawned here, yeah, yeah, one of one of your originals. That's right. I yes. got me thinking. Yes. The mages never respond. Or did they? They didn't. Or did they? They just did not respawn in your town. It's possible, but we've been here for long enough and they never respond in the town or here. I'm or thinking Sorry, they, go on. I'll finish they what you're going to say. Yeah, they, they could have responded somewhere else. We don't know about it. But if they did, then they would have come to town. If they knew that you guys were here. Well, or even back to uh, Kinleyville. But you haven't been uh, there for a while. Right. I just, uh, I was yeah, just. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's quite, they, yeah, they it's quite, I time. wasn't, yeah. So one of the things I wasn't 100% sure on was how many of those majors were, originals versus first second third generation also something else that's come up we had another guy die as you know i try to maintain several scouts and such apparently uh where uh clems was in kinleyville is now a large spike pit you might want to spread the word to your people okay so not to use clems to go to kinleyville i don't recommend it okay Unless they want to die quickly, messily, and all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, yes, because we never found any sign of the the majors. So one of the thoughts was is that they did go to another world. That's quite possible as well, but it just never quite settled correctly with me. And after the yeah. guy died the other day, I started yeah, thinking got, about that. Yes. But I don't know. It's maybe a mystery that we'll never solve. What mages? What? What mages? What's going on? Why is it Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, back when the world was a young place in Kinleyville, we'd send out a almost all of our mages, all of them in fact, to because they wanted to undertake a new glorious quest. Uh -huh. the, uh, Lucky Shamrock number two, uh, called The Quest for the Source of Magic. Mm. He looks disappointed that there's no musicians nearby there. <laughs> and he says, hmm. so they went out looking for that and even some of your people went out and uh, looked for them afterward because they never came back. Okay. So they may be lost forever. Yeah. Doc, Doc, Alex, and I went looking. 
mm. in a flying yeah. car we pretty much covered as much as besides the three that had been abandoned at um a stone site that could be used for which was rituals could be easily more easily done there we never found any sign of them mm. i was just thinking if you ever have any of you or people go back into the mmo land uh perhaps they could keep their eyes open and maybe find them mm -hmm. Or maybe they, maybe they came back and the the ones responsible for the gate closing in Burlington. That is also possible. Although, having given it some thought, it would take all of their combined magics to do such a thing. I believe. Well, maybe they found the source of magic, and now they're more powerful. But why is it Tuesday? Come on, the important questions. Is it Tuesday? Ah, he says. I'm not sure, actually. Don't know what day it is today. It's Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. No! <laughs> Back away slowly. It'll be all right, he says. I have to go now. <laughs> no, but in it's interesting for it's Darius, but tell me, yes. He hurries off. Everybody who everybody who's, was around working has found other shit to go do further away wow. <sighs> doesn't that feel better <laughs> <laughs> all right so let us go and see if we can locate um five hero edit to an npc otm's choice no yeah. boy the red cards are coming thick and fast aren't they? Uh -huh. Well, I read somewhere that in order to shuffle a normal deck of cards thoroughly, you have to uh, shuffle at least a dozen times. So I always try to shuffle at least a dozen times. This is computerized. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah, it's it's not like you're physically doing it. Right, but I figure, you know, it should be really, really random. Uh, random, you say? <laughs> <laughs> Are you uh, that the game? I like that. Now I want you to get Freddy prettier also. Shows her shows the pizza and they're talking all of a sudden the other groups in mind. <laughs> because I'm in all of your houses now. Yeah, that's yes. Actually it would not surprise me a whole lot. You are probably one of the best traveled checks now that there might be. So, uh, so you want to go look for Zen? Zen Kai? Yes. For what? Uh, uh, Zen, Zen Kai. The evil, the evil dictator of China's sister. Oh, okay. Why not? Yeah. Why do that would be super easy to find uh, the one lone scared Chinese woman who doesn't understand anybody else because she doesn't speak any English. She is currently helping out in the kitchens because that's something she can understand and Did do. Did you ask Darius if any of these people could eat, speak Mandarin? No, we had no time. We basically All right, I'll go and track down hand. Darius. He looks around carefully to make sure that nobody else is with you. Yes. So, do you know, with with all the different people and possibly they've got different backgrounds. Do any of them speak Mandarin? Oh yeah, yeah. We 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 found uh, we found a uh, Chinese woman wandering around here, so we put her to work in the kitchens and stuff. Uh, there's yeah, some yeah. Other people who speak Mandarin, of course. Sorry, you do have some people that speak Mandarin. Of course. Beautiful. So they could assist in translating if we have trouble. I'll send in a couple of them who are completely fluent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she does all of them fumble. She says she wants to die and for you to give her more drugs. Okay. Like, God damn, this is dark. All right, we shall go and find her. All right, no problem. You guys go home. Yes, she's working in the kitchens and stuff. It looks as though. She's kind of taken over uh, part of the kitchen because she knows how to cook tasty, mm -hmm. tasty Chinese food. And so it's now partially her kitchen. 
people seem, it looks like uh, she seems relatively happy, although it's the kind of brutal happiness that empathy rolls. That's Logan cutting himself off, realizing there need to be some empathy rolls in there that you don't give a shit about, and I can't even less. But the psychologist is like, she is accepting this, despite her brain telling her that all <laughs> is impossible. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I shall I shall attempt to say hello to her in Mandarin. I shall to attempt to introduce. I'll try and introduce I fail them. completely. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say. How does that? Okay, walked up and goes, "I have knees." <laughs> Freddie he goes, "Me too." Knees. Oh uh, yeah. Ni yes. hao, and she says ni hao back. It's weird. It's like magic. <laughs> she looks expectantly at Yana to say more things, and Yana looks at her blankly, and it seems to have stalled there. Why do we want to talk to this lady? Do she may be able to assist us getting a better understanding as to what's happening in Cyberpunk? Ah, uh, okay. and with her brother, who potentially is an avatar of Noel oh, oh, no. Okay. And the whole thing yeah. of order taking okay. hold. Right. Yeah, basically her brother is um the second most powerful man in China. Mm. And he's like uh, instigating a di dictatorship and mm. you know, militarizing mm -hmm. people and everything, blah 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 all that. Mm -hmm. And um we believe he is, um, as Joshua said, an avatar of Neolithotep, and yeah, we're trying to figure out what happened and yeah, right. get more information. Okay. Freddie, could you copy paste the lady's name and send it to me? Sure. I I asked the lady how she's doing in, in Mandarin. <laughs> it shows you in like really, really basic school Mandarin. How are you? She goes, <laughs> Good. How are you? And you're like, I'm with it. I understand that. <laughs> That's not where you're at on hobbies. You're like, yeah, as long as we don't go much past this, everything's fine. Right, right. Well. I mean, you could ask her, you know, uh, where's the library or, you know, does the room have a shower? Does she speak English? No. She doesn't speak French either. What about Latin? I don't know. Probably not if she can't talk to anyone here. Although, wait, they don't speak Latin. I might not have tried. I'll, okay. see she, I'll see if she understands Latin. She looks at you blankly. I'll see if she understands this. No. You don't understand that either. <laughs> uh, how about Cantonese? No. Um, what about Czech? Wait, space for you guys to go through all your languages. How about Finnish? Oh, Hello? Seat in your Czech. Hey, good job. If you hadn't, we'd have made fun of you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Saying rude things to her in Hebrew and stuff. Thankfully, she doesn't understand. <laughs> what about alien? Does she understand Phoenician? No. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I think it's all hey, about you, Mildred. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Mildred. Mildred. Other people turn up. Can you ask her what languages you speak? Ah, right. What languages do you speak? That's a nice, like, uh, Sure. Give, give me a plus plus uh, ten uh, to your can or your uh, Mandarin. Mandarin. Mm -hmm. yeah. you said, uh, no, she responds. You're like, hmm. <laughs> so we need to ask really simple questions. We, Where does translate is that? Where, where is the person I can pronounce his name at? <laughs> What, though? Who? 
Huh? What did you say? Sorry. I'm asking where the translators are. All oh, right. Still coming, apparently. Oh, I will okay. let you know as soon as they walk in. Until then, you have to. We will just smile at each other awkwardly. How I'm how gonna... is how is Mrs. Parapet handling it? Fine. She she uh, uh, tells you that uh, she's a hard worker, a uh, mm -hmm. nice lady. She seems really, really freaked out by the uh, beast kin. But other than that, everything's fine. So she seems so, freaked out by the non-Australians? Uh, yes, yes. All the, all the uh, rigor human doors and stuff she's OK with. Um, She's apparently not used to seeing uh, non-Asian uh, faces. Okay. For some reason. Oh, she's potentially lived a very sheltered life. Yeah. Depends on if she had access to TV and magazines or stuff, or maybe not. That's Excuse me. quite possible. Where in the fuck is it? Excuse me, I have literally so many notes and trying to search for her name. It's like everything that starts with Z-I-N, we'll just, I should have made her name longer and confusing. Well, and then can, can you put it in talking marks to do a search specifically on Zenkai? Zenkai? Doesn't like the talkie marks. Hmm. Talking about. It's no problem. We will wing it. Right, your uh, people show up. Hey, our saviors. Uh, there's a man and a woman, and they will attempt to roll their complete fluency in this language. The man goes, ah, yes. The woman goes, I am useless. She gets kicked out. <laughs> no problem. The guy guy says, I will translate for you because I am confident. He tell, he promises the woman he will come and mansplain the language to her later. She looks livid and leaves. <laughs> you think there may be some sort of retribution happening later. Mm -hmm. You're not sure what, but you don't want to be him. Such patriarchy. Yes, um, the patriarchy must go down, you think. Can you, could you, well, to he save. Introduces to himself, he introduces all of yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah, uh, everybody, so. or Yana, give me a, a Cantonese role as he's introduced, or, or sorry, not Mandarin. Cantonese, Mandarin. Everybody can make a Mandarin role as he's introducing. So. See what he's saying. Mm -mm. 